Hi. In the last little video we were investigating lines which go through the point zero zero or the origin and their equations and we had the simple relationship which we discovered that uh, the gradient can change but the equation of the line is always the gradient times x y equals the gradient times x. This time we're going to look at what happens for lines which don't go through the origin. And we're going to concentrate particularly on where the line crosses the y-axis, the vertical axis. And that's at a point which we call the y-intercept. It's the y-coordinate of the point where the line crosses the y-axis. In this case the intercept is 5, but it can change. There it's minus 6, for instance. So it can be above or below the line, and it's just the y-coordinate of where it crosses the axis. Here I've set up a situation where the y-intercept is 3. It's going through the point 0, 3 on the y-axis. Uh, and just have a look at the equation of this line. This is the line y equals x plus 3. So let's just take a minute to make sure that that actually works. When x is, say, 2, uh, y should be 2 plus 3, 5, and it is. When uh, x is, say, uh, minus 4, then that should be minus 4 plus 3, which is minus 1, and it is. So this equation is just, once again, a rule for tying together the x and the y coordinates of a line. And now we're going to look at uh, the effect of the y-intercept on the equation. Well, let's just play around. Let's keep the y-intercept at 3 and just change the gradient a bit. And look at what happens to the equation of the line. Notice that the number tacked onto the end of the equation is always 3. Well, that just happens to be the y-intercept. Is that always going to be the case? Let's change the intercept and see. Well, here we have uh, a more complicated equation, but the add-on number, if you like, is, is take away 4, or a negative 4. That's the y-intercept. What happens when we change the gradient left and right, etc., etc.? Yes, that minus 4 stays the same. Here's another example. Just let's look at this. Here we have the line y equals 2x plus 3. Notice that the gradient is 2, and that's the number multiplying the x. And the y-intercept is 3, which is the number which is tacked on at the end. So is that always going to be the case, that uh, the number multiplying the x is the gradient, and the number added on is the intercept? Well, yes it is. Let's just play around and have a look at that. We change the gradient. It's just changing the gradient part of the equation. But if we change the intercept, changing the intercept part of the equation. And at whatever we set up, uh, we have the situation that the gradient gets put into the position where it's multiplying the x, and the intercept gets tacked on to the end, in this case negative 2 or minus 2. So let's now use this idea to find out the equation of a line which we don't know. In this case, uh, we have a, a line going through here, and its y-intercept is at the point 4. So let's just have a look at that. Yes y-intercept is the point 4. Now, what, to get the equation, we'll, we'll need to find out the gradient. So let's go and use our green triangle for that. It doesn't matter. We just find whole number points on the line to work out what the gradient is. Uh, let's see. Well, this has a gradient of 2. Let's just check that. Yes, the line gradient is 2. And that tells us straight away that we can write down the equation of the line as y equals 2, which is the gradient, times x plus 4, which is the y-intercept. Let's try another. Oh, here we can see that the intercept is at negative 2, minus 2. Let's just check that. So let's uh, now work out what the gradient. Find some whole number points. This is going to be a negative gradient, of course, um, because it's going down. It's got a gradient of minus 3, so let's write that down. And so it's uh, equation y equals minus 2x, minus 3x, minus 2, or negative 3x, minus 2. And let's look at uh, one more example. Here we have uh, a line which is going to have a negative gradient. It's sloping down to the right. Its intercept this time is at the point where the y, uh, point 1, 
point zero one on the y-axis. Gradient, well, I've set up the green triangle to measure the gradient. Let's have a look and see what that says. A gradient of minus four sevenths. Well, that's tricky, but the, the principle is still the same. Gradient is minus four sevenths, and so the equation is y equals minus four sevenths x plus one. And so, in summary, uh, the equation of a straight line can be got by working out the gradient and the intercept. And the equation is just simply y equals the gradient times x plus the intercept. Now, the first three uh, videos in this little section on straight line graphs have been made using a program or applet on, on my site, waldemath.com. And I urge you to go and have a look at it so you can play around and get thoroughly familiar with this tricky but very important topic.